Um, I have a question for you guys. What is it that you guys need? Has anybody ever asked you that question? And I mean really ask you in a way that it's not just, you know, hey, what do you guys, what do you need? But, but really, really looked at you and said, what, it, what is it that, that you personally need? About two months ago, um, I thought about this question because um, one, one of my students uh, posted, posted this um, anonymously in, um, in my classroom. No, no explanation, no, um, no, you know, no kind of, you know, le uh, the lead up to it. But this, this sign says, take what you need up here, up here in my classroom. And below it, these little strips of paper. And on it, there's love, hope, faith, patience, courage, understanding, peace, strength, and freedom. And so this was an, an invitation, an anonymous invitation for, for, for anybody who, who felt like they needed something that day to take, take something that they felt they needed. And like uh, Dr. Mansfield said, uh, I teach uh, to, to physics in the morning and then, then I go upstairs and I teach, uh, or I teach ethics in the morning and then I go upstairs and teach physics. So I went upstairs um, that, that day. I came back down. Every single one of those pieces of paper was taken. And so this got me thinking of, about you know, the idea of what, what can we do as anonymous, um, anonymous uh, kind of extraordinaries, anonymous people that, that, that work for good in our school and, and, and in our community. Um, and so I came back to my class. We had a lot of discussions about this. And, and so we, we talked about, well, what, what's next? What can we do? How, how can this, this one sign, this one piece of paper, how can this inspire us to do something, um, to do something greater? And so this, this was right around... This is right around Valentine's Day, um, or as as some of my students refer to it, Singles Awareness Day. <laughs> and so we begin to talk about what people what what is it that people need when when it when it comes to Valentine's Day, and we 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 talked about the idea that Valentine's Day should not just be for couples. That Valentine's Day um, should should mean something. To each of us, and so we begin to plan this this kind of guerrilla um, guerrilla event, kind of like these these anonymous things that 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 our students could do. And so I said, I asked my students, okay, anybody who wants to be involved with this, uh, let's brainstorm some ideas, and um, and we'll set aside the day before Valentine's Day to kind of come up with this. And so we 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 came up with with all kinds of different things. Um, a bunch of guys in my class were like, so why, don't we, why don't we think as, uh, up as many cheesy pickup lines as possible and write those down and then on Valentine's Day we'll go around and give those to people. Or what if we take post-it notes and write a little message and put it on every car in the parking lot. Students, teachers, faculty, everybody here who's at the school. And so we had a, a group that, that started working on that. Um, we had another group that said, can we meet the night before Valentine's Day? And we want to write messages in chalk all on the sidewalks. And so I said, OK, great. Se se 7 PM, anybody who's interested, meet me out in front of the school. And so a couple people showed up. We gave them the chalk. And the first thing that they did is they wrote in big letters all on the sidewalk, this day is for everybody. And that, that to me was the, it just, it just really struck me as that, that is just the, the, the message that we want to kind of 
convey that we, that we wanted to share about you know about James River and about um, what we wanted to say about about Valentine's Day. And so these are some of the other um, pictures. Um, there's a there's a graffiti artist up in New York City who writes "Love me" everywhere he can. He takes this little phrase "Love me" and his mission in life is to put this as many places as he can. Love me. And so this is our little this is our little way of, of passing on his his message. A couple other students, some of my more artistic students, they spent a, a couple hours of, of, of class time drawing drawing this uh, this this mural, this message, you know. Spending, spending a, uh, you know, not just something that they, that they threw together, but something that that was a meticulous kind of work of art. And then um, the night before, we posted it up in the um, in the open comments as just a message to to the rest of the school, a reminder that no matter who you are, that you are loved. But my favorite part of this whole thing was came from that, that that one first piece of paper, that one anonymous message to take what you need. And some of my students were, were really inspired by this. That what if we did not just a small eight and a half by eleven piece of paper, what if we did a giant one for the whole school that you could take, you could offer to the school for everybody in the school, every single one of the students here at James River, every single one of the teachers here, to take what they need. And the kids just, yeah, let's do it. Let's, let's, let's just, and, then, and we jumped right in. And so we spent, we spent, you know, the day before writing, writing messages, you know, things that people would need <coughs> on post-it notes. And so we came up with this huge, <coughs> this, this huge piece of paper. And by the end of it, we had this huge, Huge banner with hundreds of of little post-its with little messages of um, of necessity, things things that things that people things that people need. And if you think stuff like this doesn't matter, this is my message. This is this is the this is the the one that was on my car that day. And it's one that I've kept. And I've talked to so many people about, um, about this. So, oh yeah, I have it. It's on my dashboard. Um, I, I, I still keep it. Something as, as simple as a small piece of paper that says, you are loved. An anonymous message from, from an anonymous student. And I'm here to tell you that it matters. It matters a lot. So we created this, but then they said, but let's not stop there. Let's create another banner. Because it's not just about taking what you need. But it's about giving back what you can. And so this was the second banner that has, it says, give what you can. And so it's, it's not just about what you, what you, what you need. But it's also about what can you give to others? What can you give to the person next to you? What can you give to your friends, to, to the, the, the people that you care about most? And so I'm going to present this to you guys as what's called the, a guerrilla goodness challenge. Guerrilla goodness, there's a, there's a blogger right here in Richmond who came up with this phrase, guerrilla goodness, the idea of anonymous acts of kindness. Um, and she's basically sent out this message to the world, this mission to the world, that you can change the world through kindness. You can change the world through anonymous acts of kindness. And so my, my challenge to each one of you today is to take this forward, to take that inspiration from that one piece of paper to that one giant piece of paper to all the individual post-it notes to the chalk on the on the on the sidewalk take some small piece of that and 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 
commit to your own act of guerrilla goodness. It can, it can be something as simple as redesign the, uh, the street signs around your, around your neighborhood. This, this says, with a stop sign, above it says don't, and below it says believing. Don't stop believing. Post-it notes, again, a small message, written, handwritten, can have a powerful impact. People put these on, on, on windshields, on rear view mirrors. Some of them have been hidden in books. Think about the power of, of, of putting out there a message or something, something, something hidden for, something else, for somebody else to find, something unexpected that you're going you're gonna to make somebody's day unexpected. Think about how powerful that, that could be to a person. You know, we, how, how often is it that you are surprised in life? And how, 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 how awesome a day is that when you say, hey, that, I didn't know that was going to happen. And you know what, that, that really just, it made, it, it made the day awesome. What can you do to kind of create that for somebody else? There's a website, GorillaGoodness.com. Um, again, this um, Patience Salgado, the Richmond blogger, who kind of first um, created this, ha has a website where she has missions of kindness. You can you can send a send a text message, and you will get um, a kindness mission. You can go to the website. You can get a kindness kit. There's all these things that that, that you can do to create uh, to create Gorilla Goodness here at James River and, and here in our community. And so, it all comes back to, I think about who, who, is, who, is, the, who is the hero in the story? Who, who is the person that deserves the credit? There's all the students that participated, there is, but I think it, it all comes back to Whoever put this, this single piece of paper up in my classroom, th th their anonymous, um, anonymous action that ha has then trigger triggered all of this, all of this additional um, kindness and all of these additional guerrilla goodness. Okay, think about the power that that one person had and the effect that he, he's had on the entire school. So to wrap up, it's important to be yourself, but if you can be Batman, if you can be that anonymous force for good in the community, you should always, always be Batman. Thank you guys very much.